I think I can speak for everyone when I say that we guys knew that you were the end game. <laughs> Jack is uh, very smart, but if you know Devin, you know he has to keep up with her. <laughs> I remember the first time we heard of this Jack Kemper guy. Why, it was, you're in the eighth grade. He was the new kid in the school, the guy that all the girls liked, the best looking guy in the school, the best athlete. He was the quarterback. Of course, you were the cheerleader. Devin, Devin, Devin. Everyone knows Devin gets what she wants. I promise to never keep score, even when I'm clearly winning. <laughs> so today, Jack Kemper got married. But tomorrow, I gotta change Devin's contact name to Devin Kemper. Big congrats to all y'all. I've been blessed with so many amazing people in my life. And among those is a bright-eyed, blonde girl that is fiery beyond belief that I am now so thankful to call my wife. Devin, I knew the moment I saw you in eighth grade that something was different and special about you. Each moment we have spent together has been pure bliss and you are truly a blessing from God. Divinely placed in my life, you are the embodiment of what every man seeks in a wife and for that I can't be more thankful. You're my biggest blessing. You're my rock. You are and always have been my calm in the storm, my safe place, my home, the true Devon Whisperer. <laughs> As we stand here today, there's not a doubt in my mind I'm marrying my best friend. You're my favorite person to laugh with. I love that we laugh together every day. You're my favorite person to fight with because you've given me the confidence, security, and assurance to know that each fight only makes us stronger. You're my favorite person to dream with. I love how big we dream. I guess what I'm trying to say is you're just my favorite person. You look amazing. You look so good. I love you. I love you. You look so beautiful. You look great. Your dress is lovely. Thank you. you got it all on. Thank you. You're such a lovely bride. Thank you. I can't believe this is here. No, <laughs> we're so hard to get here. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And... You're beautiful. Thank you. I love you. Love you. You be... look great. You do too. Thank you. This will be the best day of your life. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I love you. I love you so much. Enjoy it. Okay. Remember it. Okay. okay. Don't ever forget it. Okay. I love you. I love you so much. Jack, as a father, I've always tried to set an example of what kind of man I hoped would ask for Devin's hand in marriage by the way I treat Angie. These last six years, though, have been some of my favorite memories. Your mom and I have had such an amazing time watching you and Jack grow into such an amazing young couple. We need our moment, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this afternoon as we've gathered here today to unite Jack and Devin in holy matrimony. You see, the beauty of this couple's love story was defined by Devin, and I'm going to quote, I truly feel I fell in love with Jack before I even knew what love was. It was just an overwhelming feeling of love, safety, security, and commitment. There's no one else that I could imagine living the rest of my life with. 
Now Jack would describe this love story like this, and again, I quote, her natural light was so captivating that I had no choice but to fall in love with her. As your wife, I've had a fight for you in our marriage each and every day. I promise to lean on you when times get tough and to love you through each and every season of our lives. I promise to be your partner in crime, lifelong dive buddy, and strongest confidant. I promise to choose you each and every day for the rest of my life, to love you when it's easy and when it's hard, when our love is simple and when it's complex. I vow to love you with every part of my being from this moment until my last. Today is the beginning of the rest of our lives, and I can't wait to spend today and all of your tomorrow's love. As we look to the horizon and see a bright future ahead, I commit to being your husband in every sense of the word. I vow to be devoted to our marriage by loving and cherishing you until the end of our time, by creating a stable home for our family, and by fully supporting you in all your endeavors. I vow to be the man you've always hoped for and deserve, your protector, your rock, and one day the father to our children. I vow to give you all of myself in poverty and in wealth, in turmoil, in triumph, in sickness, and health. Through everything life throws at us, I will always be by your side. As we walk with God through our marriage, I have no doubt he will guide us and protect us as long as we place ourselves in his hands. The act of washing another's feet is one of the most humbling displays of love and servanthood, imitating Christ's humility for the commandment of loving one another. It represents that one is no greater than another and that each of you are choosing to love and to serve one another. So by the power vested in me and in accordance with the laws of the state of Missouri, it is a great honor for me to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Mr. and Ms. Kimber. Make some noise. It's time to get loud. It's time to get loud for our bride and groom. So, Jack, I guess this is the time I'm supposed to welcome you and your family. But the truth is, there's no need to. You've been part of this family since the day you asked Evan to be a girlfriend. 